Hey everybody, Scott Roberts here um, from, uh, from Explore Scientific and today I'm working with uh, one of our uh, Infinity, uh, the Brescia Science Infinity microscope and currently I've got a, uh, here I can pull this back for you, you can see the specimen that I have in there, uh, but uh, it's a uh, it's a nice microscope, biological microscope. It's got a um, the microcam camera up on top of it. Uh, it's uh, very nearly uh, parfocal, so when I look in the eyepieces, uh, it's pretty much exactly in focus with what's uh, what's in there. But the the magnification on the camera is probably you know four times stronger than what I see through the eyepieces right now, but. Uh, uh, it is fascinating, and uh, so I thought that you might want to see what I'm checking out. Now, this, uh, this particular slide right here, you can see it's got these little etched markings in it, and um, actually they're little ridges, they're little uh, gates inside there, and this is called a living slide. Explore Scientific sells them on our website, uh, and so you can find the living slide, you can find the camera and all the rest of it. But, uh, uh, you know, I have been uh, keeping these uh, protozoa uh, for quite some time, actually for several months. And uh, I was surprised to see that, the, you know, the, these, uh, these things are still alive in there. Um, I had them literally in this, uh, little, this little jar here for, um, it's been over three months now. And... Uh, uh, there's many living organisms still in in the uh, in the container, and so you can see there's some really cool. Um, looks like maybe some paramecium here, and lots of other interesting little animals. So the magnification I have it set up right now is about, visually is about 100 magnification. Um, through the camera, I think this is probably about a three to 400 magnification uh, in, you know, uh, view. Oh, here's some, these guys are playing around right here. Let me get a little bit better focus for you. There we go. Even though this water is only, I don't know, a millimeter thick, you still, have a lot of depth of focus as you're running through, um, running through the uh, the slide, and we can move to a little bit higher magnification if you'd like. Uh, it's harder to keep the um, the smaller animals in place. This guy's kind of slow moving, so let me move, let me move on him. I'm going to move the stage away a little bit, bring that down, and then I'm going to bring this back up. Now you can see also that the light is very dim here, so I'm going to bring the light up. That's not enough, so we're going to open up the iris here a little bit more, and now we can start to see something. There we go. Guy. I thought it wasn't moving much, it's actually moving quite a bit. I'm going to switch so that you can see the whole view. 
of just the uh, microscope field. Here we go. That's a little bit better. You don't need to see me. Okay, so there's one right there. Now let me see what I can do to increase the contrast and brightness. There you go. A lot of activity going on there. You can see some of them hiding in the moss there. Uh, it's really cool. And I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Um, I, uh, I can also switch. Let me do this. Let's switch slides here. I'm going to remove this. Pull that away. Now you can kind of see this uh, live slide. It's very nice. Um, it's made out of uh, very high quality. I think like an acrylic. Um, and uh, you know, uh, it's the liquid that I have the uh, specimens in are captured with a cover plate on there, and it will last for a long time. So let's. Uh, Let's change that out and put in something else. I have some prepared specimens here. What's this one? This one is a stem of wood. Okay. Doesn't sound very exciting at first, but. Here we go. Wow, that's cool. So this is, uh, you can see the different cellular structure. And again, you can change, you can change contrast with uh, the uh, IS diaphragm on the, near the light source. There's also a diaphragm control up here by the uh, condenser. And it's just a spectacular view. This is a obviously a stain sample. Uh, they use uh, a couple of different stains for doing that. The stains uh, show kind of the, the morphology of the cell, cell, cellular structure. Excuse me, I can early say that. Um, but uh, really fascinating. And, you know, of course, most of you know me uh, uh, as someone that's really involved with astronomy and telescopes, but I find this equally fascinating. Uh, this is the other uh, cosmos to check out, and it's just beautiful. So, anyway, um, this is our setup today and uh, hope you enjoyed it and take care.